fantastic Wednesday. It is a very rainy and dreary day here in Texas. So I'm in the kitchen. It's the room with the most lighting. Um, we just got off the Liberty of the Sea. So I wanted to go over <clears throat> some uh, facts about Liberty of the Sea. We set through a thing, facts about the Liberty Sea. It was just one of the, we actually went to go sit in one of the theaters just to talk. And they started a question with the captain and crew. So we sat there and listened and asked questions. Um, the year, this is for Liberty of the Sea by Royal Caribbean. Let's look here and start with, the year it was built was 2006 to 2007. It takes about 18 months to build a cruise ship. The first uh, voyage was May 19th of 2007. Um, gross tonnage is 155,889. The overall length, this will be in feet, and I will do meters, is 1,112 feet. Meters is 338.9 meters. Uh, total cost to build this ship was $800 million. We all can afford that, right? We all have that in the bank. I only wish. Um, the total capacity of the ship, including the crew, is 6,000 people can be on board that ship at any given time. Do, do, do. Let's go down here to some really fun facts. Some things you don't think about. Weekly food, including crew for this ship, is 125,000 meals are produced per week on this ship. Appetizers, 60,000 appetizers. Main courses, 84,000 main courses, and this is in a week's time. Uh, desserts, 90,000 desserts are done in a week. It's kind of funny how there's more desserts than main courses. Makes you think, doesn't it? Um, steaks, they prepare 69,000 steaks per week on this ship. Now, here, if you are vegetarian, this part you might not like but on an average week on the Liberty of the Sea they go through 13,000 pounds of beef they go through 8,000 pounds of chicken 5,000 pounds of pork lobsters is 1,400 pounds seafood is 11,000 pounds of seafood salmon is 2,500 pounds fresh eggs is six 86,400 fresh eggs are prepared weekly on the ship. That's a lot of eggs. I mean, that is a lot of eggs. Uh, flour, they go through 25,000 pounds of flour. Coffee is 1,500 pounds of coffee. Fresh fruit is 64,000 pounds. And fresh vegetables is 65,000 pounds. Mmm. Uh, fresh Berries, they go through 600 pounds. Potatoes, 18,000 pounds. This is kind of interesting. Ice cream, 8,000 gallons of ice cream per week. Milk and fresh cream, 8,000 gallons. Cheese, 5,800 pounds of cheese. That is a lot of cheese. I mean, I love cheese, but that is a lot of cheese too. Um, beer. 10,700 bottles of beer per week. Canned beer is 8,500 bottles or cans. Soda, 12 or 11,500 cans of soda are used per, per week. Wine, 19 or eight, whoa, I skipped wine. Um, wine, they use 2,900 bottles of wine. Whiskey bottles, 200 whiskey bottles. And then slices of pizza. I think this is funny how they have slices of pizza, but if you've ever been on a, a Liberty of the Sea cruise, they have the pizza kitchen that's open almost, it feels like, all the time. And then they have pizza at the buffet, I think, for almost every meal. I swear I've seen it. I know they have french fries for every meal. Uh, that's why they go through so much potatoes. But it is 18,000 slices of potatoes are used every week. Uh, I mean potatoes. 18,000 slices of pizza. Um, anything else that's interesting? Let's look. P 
per person per day is 58 gallons of water or 220 liters. Um, the rest of this is not... The ship can go, max speed is 26 miles per hour or 22 knots, 22.5 knots. Um, fuel that they use, wow, that's quite a bit. 3,135 gallons per hour or 10.5 metric tons per hour of fuel. That's a lot of gas or fuel. I think they're diesel engines. Yes, they are diesel engines. Um, total horsepower of the ship is, well, it says total and then horsepower. It's 56,000 and it's got six diesel engines this is what I wrote. I know they're not called engines, but I wrote engines. Um, I think I went over that. There is a godmother of the ship, which we saw her picture, and I was wondering what a godmother was. It's just somebody that blesses the ship and um, gives it good, good juju every time it goes out. But the captain was kind of funny because somebody asked about that, and they said it's just for the lady to be able to cruise for free whenever she wants to which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but I think that's about it. I just wanted to give some fun facts about Liberty of the Sea, just some random weird things that you don't ever think about. Um, it talks about the total staterooms is 1,899. Ocean view rooms are 1,138. Balcony rooms are 858. Interior rooms are 767 and then um, ones with just portholes is 172. Let's look. Staterooms with three or four, I don't know what I wrote. Isn't that bad that I can't read my own handwriting? Um, staterooms with wheelchair capability is 33 and it says all staterooms can be converted into a queen size bed comfortably and have a private and will have a private bathroom phone which i don't know what you really want to use the phone for a uh, flat screen tv a mini bar and hair dryer and ac but let me tell you about that ac make sure your glass sliding door if you're on a balcony is closed and locked because if it's not locked and that door comes ajar this much kills your air conditioner well it doesn't kill it it slows it down for energy saving, so it's not very, it doesn't keep your room very cool. We had that incident happen on the ship one night. We didn't, I guess, close it all the way or didn't lock it and it came ajar a little bit. And we woke up and literally thought we were dying. But it cooled back down very quickly. Overall, we love the Liberty of the Sea. This was our second journey with Liberty, or with Royal Caribbean and Liberty of the Sea. The last two times we've traveled with them, we have done the Grand Suite. And funny thing is, we've had the same room number. I will have a room tour go up right after this video. And um, we were in room 1286, I think. And we absolutely love the Grand Suite. The perks that you get with the Grand Suite are absolutely amazing. Um, you get pre-boarding, so you get on before everybody else. You get to your state room before everybody else, so you can go drop off your bags. Um, you get the Sweet Lounge, which does free cocktails from 4.30 until 8 o'clock every night with um, appetizers. And then they'll have coffee and water and snacks throughout the day. You also get disem disembarking, I think, don't hold me to that, getting off the ship early. Uh, we picked a 6 a.m. time, so we met down in the Schooner Lounge at 6 a.m. and our concierge, MJ, which he was amazing. I don't know if MJ will ever see this video, but you did an outstanding job. Thank you for everything you did. Um, MJ will escort you off the ship. We were off our ship by no later than seven o'clock when everybody else started disembarking around eight. So it gives you a little bit of a perk there. Um, you get priority tendering. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry, my memory card filled up right smack in the middle. Um, you get pre, you get priority tendering, so you get on and off the ship if you have to tender, or, or you pretty much get to skip the line, and um, you get some dirty looks with that, and you get this fancy little gold card that everybody asks, why are you a gold member? Um, it's for the sweets, it's just to identify who you are. 
Um, Pinnacle has it also. What else is some good perks of that? You get a concierge, you get water in the room, you get, oh, breakfast every morning. You can have breakfast and chops, so you don't have to do the formal dining room or the buffet. So you can have breakfast every morning and chops, and they'll pretty much make you anything that's anything that you want. There was stuff I wanted that wasn't even on the menu, and they will make it for you. Um, it's nice to have it. You get a big room, which you'll see in the room tour. We like to do it because a lot of the time, some of the ports we don't get off on, or we do and we just look around, but we like to enjoy the room, the balcony. We really go on cruises just to relax. Um, we do do excursions and stuff, but this trip we only did one, like y'all saw. Not everybody will have seen all these videos, so I need to stop talking about that. Um, watch all of my cruise videos. They will all be up here shortly. Uh, day one through day eight of our cruise. And, um, but, and when you, you do a grand suite or bigger, you get considered with your pinnacle points, you get two per day versus one. So when you're on a um, seven day cruise, it's like you're on a 14 day cruise. So those are just some facts about Liberty of the Sea in our room. Um, we do, on this last one, we only tuck the stairs. We use the elevator once. The rest of it was stairs. That way I gained zero I gained a half a pound on this trip I ate bad I drank a little bit but use the stairs it's really good for you it builds those glute muscles and leg muscles um, but besides that their pools are great the gym is outstanding there's a sauna in the locker rooms and a steam room there's hot tubs there's great patios everywhere um, Truly enjoy the ship and, and walk around and go downstairs and see the shops and all that fun stuff. But Liberty of the Sea is a great ship. We have, have actually booked another cruise on Liberty of the Sea next May with um, me and Evan. And then my parents are going to come with us on that one. And we did two grand suites on that one. And then our big cruise will be next September. And we are doing the Hawaiian cruise. Me and Evan are. It's a 10-day Hawaiian cruise. And we're going to be going out of Vancouver and all that, so that's going to be really fun. But this was all about the Liberty of the Sea. I'm getting way off topic. But um, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you all have any questions, just let me know. And make sure you follow us or follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll leave that linked below also with Facebook. We have a lot of fun over on Snapchat every day. So definitely follow us over there. And until the next video, talk to you all later, guys. Bye.